guys, welcome to One Play Africa, and my name is Tunal Abnairam. You know when I'm seated on the covers, I mean, I'm a feeling <laughs> I'm looking great. <laughs> so today, I met this guy at the Imagine Music Awards Summit, and he was performing like some gentle guy be. So today, I brought him to the studio to come and tell me more about himself, and he's from Kaswa. There's yeah. nobody that pay it. Yeah. Pay it. What's up? I'm good. Yourself? I'm good. <laughs> You're dripping like Thank the you. black, black, you black. You're not looking bad, though. <laughs> so, like, what's behind this? Your dressing? I can see black, black, black. Your combination. Oh, I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of black duo, but you know, guys. But I think when I'm at home, whatever that I feel like wearing, that is what I wear. And when I'm going to places, I just make sure I look at where I'm going to. Then I dress according to where I'm going to. So if I'm going to um, let me say a program that definitely elders or huge personalities are coming. I need to be in the formal way. I need to you too. I need to dress suit. Yeah. <laughs> so you know when you mentioned when you're home, you dress somehow like the way you want to dress. I I nearly said you're a brand. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every artist is a brand on him. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so this is this alone is okay, a brand. Yeah, I can see so big. Yes. What does it mean? Still believe in God. Yeah, you still need to believe in God, regardless. <laughs> yes. Wow. Okay, so I want to know you more. Like, I want to know you better. Pay kid. Um, well, pay kid. Pay kid is an artist. Yes. A rap artist, an Afrobeat artist, um, hip hop, like all these kind of stuff that you can think of that I do. And right now, I'm under Kashmir Records. Yeah, you're the one holding me down for now. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is it, and I think there are more to come. There are more to come, yeah. But <laughs> right. for now, this is me. So, yeah. But I think you're known more for the rap or something. Yes, yes. So I, I do the um, Daffo beat and the high life and all those kind of things that I'm talking about. I'm trying to say that I do rap, rap artists. Yes. Yeah. So whether Afro beat, I can rap on it, or any okay. genre of music, I can rap on it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm so, not stuck to um, let me say one one genre of music. Oh, genius. Okay. Okay, so coming from Kaswa, mm -hmm. I want to ask to talk about you coming from Kaswa as an artist. How difficult it is? Is it? Do you face some challenges? Well, um, as an artist, okay. as an imagine artist, we all do say we have challenges, but trust me, right now, I'll say I have surpassed things like that because challenges are there. It's just like, a gate that you need to open before you enter into a room or a building yeah so you just need to surpass it do your best and bypass that is it so i don't focus on challenges as an artist i just see that as an opportunity or a minor stepping stone towards my career goal okay that is so I mean. you see everybody's like almost every artist to be like oh me my wood is this that 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 yeah, yeah like they attach their wood to um, the, the, the music yeah, that they do, or their brand, or something. Yeah. So coming from Kaswa, we've known Kaswa with <laughs> a lot of things. Really. <laughs> Anything that happens, I had times even on social media, somebody called like, "Hey, Kaswa again." Kaswa like, for. <laughs> Kaswa Kaswa for. Again. Yes, we really know that. Um, in quotes, yeah. Kaswa is known for. I don't know how to put it. I, I, I know, I know what you yeah, want to say, but I think you get it. Hey, Kaswa, so, um, Kaswa is a lovely place to be. Like to be frank and to be sincere with you, it's a lovely place to be. Um, if you attach or associate yourself with good people, people who are great enough in that area, trust me, you'll love it. It's a nice place. It's a nice and serene environment. Where I am too, I think I like that place. Yes, at least for now. We went there not long ago, but I think I'm okay with that place for now. Wow. Yes. Being okay with that, please. How are you guys using your music to change those narrative? The narrative that will oh, for your way bad, uh -huh. bad, like every bad thing happens to <laughs> How do you, how but, I, yes, yeah. they're using your music to change. Okay, the thing is, um, you see, Phoebe, yeah, you understand? <laughs> Everywhere, nowhere cool, you understand? But um, we are trying our best. We are all trying our best. At least I'll send my message. Or anything that I want to say, I just you do it through the song. Yes, that is what I do. And I'll make sure that I always make sure my lyrics make sense enough. Yes, it makes sense that it can hit you and change you. If um you're doing something that it doesn't correspond with what maybe God wants or the society needs. Yes. So receiving your music, how do 
Dame Syria visit to people in Kasayo. <laughs> It hasn't been it hasn't been easy uh, you know coming up as an artist the when you do it definitely people back and forth they'll be giving you some will be backlashing and all those kind of stuff but i think we've been trying our best to do it yes we've been trying our best we've got people holding you down people accepting your music it's not easy as you think holding on to rap right now we can just attest to the fact that singing or let me say um high life and this afrobeat is making waves so what are you also going to do as an um, an artist who is a rapper to penetrate very well so you just need to associate yourself with singers who are good enough that they can sell you that is what i'm doing now and i make sure that when i'm writing my rap to i will not make it so difficult for yeah, like people yes for ladies most especially if ladies vibe to your song trust me you are good enough you are not doing it for ladies but if they vibe to your song it's, it's really good yeah, so i just make sure that my lyrics are down that uh, ladies can vibe Elderly people can also relate to it, and kids too can also relate. Mm. That is what I do. So when it comes to Kasa and you mentioned Pekit, how is the response? Uh, it's, it's, it's been great. It's been great. Yes, it's been great. Like let's be let's be honest, it's been great because at least we've been able to play a couple of shows over there, and they know the song of Pekit, but they don't know Pekit the himself. They don't know the artist himself. Like oh wow, so you had a Pekit guy. I want to talk more. Yeah, yeah, I'm the same person. But, Bit so by bit, you are climbing. Yeah, so since you are in the mood that they play your music and you don't do the artist, as an artist, what are you doing about that? That is why you need to project yourself to the people for them to know that this is you, this is the person behind this hit song. Yeah, that is very important. So, branding is where that thing comes in. Mm -hmm. You brand yourself, then you bring yourself out for the people to see that this is you. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you hide yourself, you find it difficult to penetrate, mm -hmm. trust me. I but I, I also think uh, with you like planning maybe a pack to pack something because you want the people to be familiar with you. Yeah, very have, necessary. Have you thought of it? Yeah, we've been going to pubs to play shows. Okay. Sometimes not necessarily going to play shows, but we just go there to have fun. Yes. We just talk to them, we vibe with them and we make them know that maybe if there is an MC over there, we just make them know that oh, Peggy is around, it's an artist, is this, is that then you just get up, give a wave, and we move. It helps the brand. Yeah, as very well. necessary. Okay, so let's talk about your record label. Okay. What's what's the name? Kashmir Records. Cash Cash Kashmir hey, Records. You people you have cash. <laughs> Come and give it. Some. <laughs> okay, so you know a lot of emerging artists complain they don't have record labels, they don't have people who sponsor them, invest into their yeah, craft. Very necessary. So get a record label. How has it been? It's been great. You? Yeah, let's be honest, it's been great. And we thank God for that because that is what every artist, every young and upcoming artist is looking up to. Getting somebody who is going to hold him or her with the music. <laughs> but I'll just, I wouldn't say it, but it's good. It's good. You need to just be there and penetrate very well because there are things that they can do for you that you yourself, you wouldn't be able to do. But the only advice I can give to young and upcoming artists is, listen, you are, everybody is good in his or his own. Just focus on yourself. If maybe you are under a label, that doesn't mean you should also force yourself into a label. Just push and go in hard. And it's not, maybe you would even make it way bigger than I am under the label. Yeah. So just believe in yourself and believe in God. Wow. How long have you been with this label? Two years. Two years? Again, yeah. Wow. Getting to two years. Getting to two years. Yes. And how long have you signed? Three. Three, so you have a year. a year more to go. Yeah. Okay, so how is your relationship with your boss? We've known a lot of people when they go and a record label, maybe after a year or two, they start facing challenges. They'll be like, oh, they promised this and they are not giving it to me. That's how they come out. How is your relationship with? Uh, as for promises, we are humans. You understand? We are human. And promises are meant to be fulfilled and not to be fulfilled. But it's up to you to make it happen. If maybe your boss says, I'm going to do this for you, and he hasn't done it yet, that doesn't mean he doesn't want to do it for you. But maybe he's looking at one or two things from you to see how serious you are. You understand? If most most of these people were born with silver spoon, people wouldn't work. Yes. So God, in his own wisdom, had to make people go through a lot so that they learn from it. Yes. So you can be under a label, and maybe things aren't going on well for you. That doesn't mean you wouldn't make it. Or maybe your boss is trying to camp you in a place that you would, would not feel comfortable you just be free and believe in yourself you'll be okay so you extend your contract 
after this. Let's, let's, see what, <laughs> let's see what God will do. Okay, so you are four on the label. Yeah. How do you guys manage to work? Because four people on a label. It's very difficult. You think you are getting the mileage you should get to. Are you really getting it? Well, um, I think we all understand ourselves. As we the artists, we all understand ourselves. So I think that is what is pushing us. Or that, has, that is what has kept us till today. Yes, that is what I would say. And if talking of mileage opportunity, I think bit by bit we are getting there. Yeah, we wouldn't say what we want, we've gotten all, but bit by bit we are getting there. We believe in God. Okay, so bit by bit we'll be back. You're going for a quick break, right, man? All right, fam, this is your boy, I'm Radu AK Younga KA, and I'm here to tell you it's the one year anniversary for One Play Africa. You know how we do with Shouts and Ananya Redu. I mean, Shouts are for putting us on Wungu. Amen. Welcome back from the break. You're still watching One Play Cavis on One Play Africa. So bake it. Yeah. So come on your music. <laughs> um, you see a lot like we have a lot of artists who write their lyrics. People talk about when writing, they talk about love. Mm -hmm. Some people talk about sex. Some people <laughs> talk about hustle. Yeah. What do you talk about mostly in your song? Everything. I don't leave anything out. Every part of the music. So you do the love song. I, I want to tell song. I want to tell your story for you. That is me. So, from um, hustle, love, um, how do you call it? Anything, anything at all. Yes, anything at all. Anything at all that you can think of. Yeah, Provided I'm in the mood. Mm -hmm. Yes. Even if I'm not in the mood and maybe in our chick chat that we're having now, whatever you tell me, if it is very emotional and it hits me to the heart, I wouldn't tell you I'm going to write a song about it. But the only thing I'll do is I'll just pick the point that you were really hitting on. Go home, sit back. And then picture myself in your shoes. Yes. Then I'll just write something about it. And I'll make sure you hear it. You'll get to listen to it and you'll be like, <laughs> Your song with Kelson. Who wrote yeah. it? I wrote it myself. You have over 30 K, K views on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, I wrote it myself. And frankly speaking, um the first verse was written in two years. Yeah, two years ago. That was two years ago. I didn't even write it with the intention of putting somebody on. I wrote it with the intention of um how do you call it? being featured on it's mature to say if somebody is to come for a feature and it seals that verse i'll give it to the person but luckily for me it came out to be mine kill song so then i had to write the second verse and kill song did the magic with the chorus nice. that's very nice yeah thank you very video. much so shut the video um how do you call it director new okay director new he's a very good director too the video is very nice. Thank I, you I, very much. I think I watched it and it's cool. Thank you very much. Okay, so I watched you perform mm. at the Imagine Music yeah. lunch or something, yeah. the summit, and you got everybody vibing to your song. I didn't know you. That was the first time I saw you. And yes. People went, what's the magic? Like, um, I would say when I was sitting there, mm. I was just praying for different artists to be caught first. That is what I mostly do. I mostly pray for, to God for. Anytime I go on a show, I just pray that God allows an artist to go first. Why? So then I'll, I'll look at how the person is going to call or interact with the crowd. Yes. So then if I see your flaws, though I'm not going to tell you your flaws, I will learn from your flaws and then move. So when one person was called, two persons were, they were called, and I was like, oh, okay. And I think when I go, I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to do. That. When I was sitting there, they were talking. Do, do I was listening, but I wasn't listening. Yes, I was at least thinking of what to do when I get to the stage. So I just pictured it when I got there. I started doing what I'm supposed to do. And I didn't know the crowd would cheer to the song. Yes, that way I didn't know. Trust me, I didn't know because I felt like you know, imagine artists coming up. Them. Trust me, it's it's not been easy for an imagine artist to let me say get everybody vibe and do they don't even know you or they yes, don't even yes, yes. know the song but it's god because i really loved it and that was my first time seeing you too and yes. like everybody was jamming to it's good and a certain man advised me i wrote a song um talking about let me say inflation in the country that was two years ago a year ago and a man advised me he was really surprised i was the one who wrote that song so then he was like for your song to become a hit song or for people to say your song is a hit song a kid should be able to sing a verse from it at least a chorus or a lady should be able to vibe to it <laughs> at least a chorus like oh, okay that that way you can say your song is a hit song and trust me all hit songs in ghana we know kids can't even sing it 
Yes. That is it. So that day after performing, people were like, hey, can we all perform? Like, or rapid to say Sarkodi. The guy uh, raps like Sarkodi. That was what you were thinking? No, that was what people were saying. Oh, okay. Me. Okay. Do you think the same? <laughs> I think <laughs> I'm doing myself. Like, this is me. This is me. I have a mentor though, but this is me. I'm trying to bring myself out. Or well, it's good if people, how do you call it, attach you to a legend like Sarkodie. Yes, but I think this is me. I'm trying to project myself. So they should accept me for who I am. I'm not saying that. Nah, like, I mean, sense. yes, I understand you. But I mean, they should take the craft, pay it. You understand? It's good. Pay it, um, being um, tagged with Sarkodie, you rap like Sarkodie. Who wouldn't love it? But when it happens that way, you will be under the shadows of Sarkodie. You understand? Mm. But at least you learn from him, right? Yes. What are some of the things you take from him? Because we've known him to be great. Great. His attitude on stage. Yes. And his choice of words when writing music. Yes. I think that one. His attitude. His attitude and interviews. I do love his interviews. Yes. He was all who. I got this inspiration from to talk and all do the, do so this thing. You see, you see, you got inspiration from him. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt. Like, hell no, no, I can't doubt getting inspiration from my mentor. No. Do you listen to his song? Yeah, I do, but not anymore. Why? I feel like even if I don't think about what he is doing after doing it, somebody like my crew, mm. they tell me say, hey, as as a vibe way, so could you use that? Then I go back again. I'm like. Ah, I need to go back and go and change it again because i thought that was taking a toll on me so then i had to switch from listening to him yes so i just listen to when i hear the song i go on youtube watch the video like subscribe give a comment then i leave i make sure i don't get it over here but who am i <laughs> <laughs> okay so you won an award at the major music awards yeah wow, uh, it was a collaboration of the year Kill songs. Okay, the songs. Yes, song. yes, yes. Collaboration of the year, and the songs, the songs that have been performing itself, I think it's it's because of the words that mm -hmm. and the things that I say. That is why, by God's grace, I've been able to pull up the love. Mm -hmm. yes. So, as an artist, what does an award mean to you? It's a great thing because that is what every artist, most especially emerging artists, or even the top ones out there wants to get it's when it's add up to your cv you make it makes you feel big what did you do as an artist oh by industry what were you able to gain i was able to win this award oh okay yes i was able to stand on this stage with this artist it's a great feeling yes mm -hmm. <laughs> are, you, are you the first person to bring an award to them oh no 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 okay. no we, we have lb who has an award? O2 and oh. Hola for O2. Oh, so all of you. Good. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so I really want to, you mentioned the industry as mm. an emerging artist. Do you think the industry loves emerging artists like or mom, big ups? Like they encourage you even to do more? Because do you know why? Field Marshall was on my show and he was like, I said he he's he's not part of Gamro mm -hmm. because they they don't even pay anything. People are complaining about it, so he he doesn't even feel like being part. But he's part of Musga. So do you think the industry is helping emerging in? artists? Hmm. Um, I don't know what to say though. But the only thing I can say is, trust me, if you get a good person to help you, you would move and. Our attitude, we the artists, we the emerging artists, our attitude is what is pulling us down or is pulling us back. Yes. Sometimes we want we want it in a rapid way. But it doesn't happen that way too. You need to take time, climb a step one after the other. But we just want to jump some steps and just move towards. You can go back this age and you maybe you want to be at the same or certain level with Sarkody or maybe Stoneboy. No. no, they went through a lot. If you look at their coming up, it was very difficult. So then, take your time and pass it's through. That is it. We rush. That is why we don't get people to hold us down. That is the main reason why. But with the gamble thing, for that one, no, no I don't think. I don't think I. I, I don't. I want to talk about it. Anymore. Okay, so pick it. 
what should we expect from you? Great. Will you be playing some shows? December is just at the Canada. We are hopeful. We are hopeful. And if any show links up to you, you can also link me up. I'm, okay. I'm available all the time. Yes. Um, we have a couple of shows. A couple of shows. Anytime, any day, anywhere. We are available. Yes. We are available for you. Yeah. So what should you expect from you the subsequent years? Um, I think there are a lot of songs out there. And sooner than expected, I'll release a new jam too coming up featuring my own self my own self yes <laughs> <laughs> yes it's 1 30 so you just need to get ready for that one it's a christmas jam you will love it 1 30 that's the title you want to freestyle of it <laughs> hey that's it's me and your it's not your world girls now you're ready okay. okay unless you are spending all white that will be in the wedding forget it will be a sharing is caring my baby is sweet will be a dream is you are my baby is sweet you be see we move in surgery me your virgin to me family who see see boy be actually give you one corner or change change the body set antenna hey what's up be you are the two be so so when you're virgin i like i like okay so i really want to see you at the top okay great great i'm working hard thank you very much thank you very much so this has been amazing chat it's baking i i think i enjoyed myself i enjoyed myself too so catch you next time on one play covers my name is tonight of mirror follow us on all our social media handles i didn't give my social media and follow me at tonight of naira so pick it your social media handles i'm on instagram facebook and twitter it's pick it Twitter is I am pay kid, but okay, Instagram. Can you spell it? P A E K I D D. P A E K I D D. Yeah, that is the name. And finally, I just want to sound a word of motivation to all of you out there that are doing this. I just want to tell you that keep doing whatever you're doing because on the several locations, they try to break down the spirit. They said, pay, you cannot do it. Hey, pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to so you just said Tilly has been saying something that if you have something to do, you do it now. So I think that's a motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so this has been one play covers. Bye. Bye. One play, one play, one play. Add class to your music.